Bill Rechtenwald, Senior Lecturer, School of Journalism. It's, it's always painful to say goodbye to a friend, and, and more so when the friend is young with a bright future and his passing comes without warning. What a warm, loving person Ryan was. He had found his calling. He had found his God, and he was so happy. A few months ago, as I prepared for some medical tests, I asked Ryan to say a prayer for me, and with no hesitation, he looked at me and gave me a simple and sincere answer. He said, Bill, I pray for you every day. This tree will remind us of Ryan. It'll grow. It'll flower. It'll provide beauty. His memory lives in the hearts of all of those that knew him. And I'm, I, I, I'm just sure that Ryan is watching us today, and I can almost hear him ask, why, why the tears? Why the tears, Brandon and Jason and Jordan and Jake and Jeff and Emily and Madeline and Sarah and Audra and Sean and Allison, Alicia, Joe, Danny, Diane, Jeff, Duval, AJ, Phil, Stephen, all the rest of you that are his loving friends. Don't be sad. Ryan would tell us that this is a time of joy. A mutual friend of, of Ryan and I, a young man named Ivan from Uganda with whom Ryan had an email connection, wrote to me recently and he suggested that the words of the 18th Psalm might provide some encouragement. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer in whom I will take refuge, my shield and my horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Thank you, Lord, for sharing Ryan with us. 